Welcome to my first video. Three years, 203 subscribers and 46,000 views later and I'm still at it. Uh, so to mark the occasion I will be re-reviewing the third set I ever reviewed which was set number 31073 Mythical Creatures from Lego Creator 3 in 1. Now this set has 223 pieces and of course that comes with zero minifigures and it is right here. So today I'm going to rebuild this and wrap it up into a very quick speed build. So here is the completed build. Build time today was about 25 minutes and let's just jump straight into it. So if we start down here with the head because that's where all the expression usually is in these builds. Uh, I think this is a really great head. I'll just pop it off here to give you a closer look. Uh, so you can see it's got a really nice shape, especially with those two horns coming back from the eyes. Uh, the mouth opens nicely and it, it all fits together with the teeth really well. Uh, it's got some really nice shaping with these sort of claw pieces. And I like the use of these headlight pieces as... Um, as eyebrows and also as the bottom of the mouth I think they do a really good job uh, and it's actually attached it's attached using clips and um, but then it's attached to the main mouth using these pieces uh, individually which then slot around these bars which um, may not seem that interesting but I just thought that was a really unique way to attach the head and it does also mean as I just discovered that you can move the jaw a bit like that but I don't think that was the intention uh, and then there's also this nice solitary yellow cheese slope on the top which will be a continuing theme throughout the build then if we move down um, there's also just a little bit for the neck there it can move up and um, it's not much but it really does add a lot to the dragon's personality if you look from the top of the dragon you can see that it does have a really nice overall shape and that's thanks in part to these really nice wings uh, which are, which are attached to the dragon with these big ball joints uh, but they also have a clip there in the middle, which means you can really add a lot more personality. You can have them straight like like it's flying or curved up or curved down. Uh, and I just think it only took a couple of pieces, but it was a really great decision from the designers. Uh, you can also see that there are these... Um, little horns on the end of their wings which again I really appreciate because that is something that you see on quite a lot of depictions of dragons uh, and I do think it adds just a bit more character to an already characterful dragon if that's a word um, and then there's also these four legs which um, both sides are identical but the front legs are different to the back legs in that they're a much simpler build and you can see that they really angle out towards the top but there's no real joints shown but then the back legs are very detailed or at least for the size they're very detailed and you can see they have the knee there and that little backbone which which you do see on a lot of animals like dogs and such like uh, but yeah, I think both, all four of the legs, sorry, are really nicely designed things. And they are all complete with these little feet, which do look really nice. I think they look great with the claws, um, with two of them set back a bit. Um, but my one complaint with these is that they are a bit fiddly to put in and get all the claws pointing down. Um, 
different because that is the way that the claws should point, but it's just a bit fiddly because they're so small, so there's not much to grab onto. But apart from that, they're really well designed. And there's nothing much going on underneath the model. And finally, we get to this tail, which again, I think is really great. It's attached with a ratchet joint, so you can get a bit of movement there. But then there's a nice ball joint here, so you can get a lot of movement there. Uh, and then these back two are both attached with clips. But if you look underneath this plate, they're actually rounded um, pieces, which means you can turn them a bit. Uh, obviously, that top bit's there to stop you breaking it off. But yeah, you can turn them a bit, uh, which, as I've said before, really does add a lot to the character. Uh, because you could have the tail in positions like that and then have the dragon stood up instead of being squashed. But yeah, I think the tail does a great deal in adding character. All in all, I think this is a great set. It's got a ton of character, as you've heard me say throughout the video. Um, it's really well put together. I think the design is great. Um, this mouth, of course the mouth on any 3-in-1 animal is going to be one of the best bits and this is no exception. And then the body has a really nice shape. These wings, I think, are just perfect. My one complaint with the wings is that there's a bit of black there, but that's not really much of a complaint. That's really nitpicky. Uh, and then the legs you can have in all sorts of different positions. You could have him, like, stretched out, as in he's sneaking. Or you could have it in more of a walking pose. Uh, with some more time I could put it in a, in a better walking pose, but you get the idea. Uh, and then this tail, I think, is a really nice design as well. And then I love that there's those yellow cheese slopes running along the body as well. And just to put the cherry on the... just to put the cherry on top, uh, this is the main build, so it has no spare pieces. Every single piece included in the set is used in this build. Apart from the fact that, of course, like the one by one studs have a spare, but that's not to do with it being a three in one set. But yeah, just a gorgeous, a gorgeous set. Thanks for watching. Thanks for 200 subscribers and three years on YouTube, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.